an introduction to the Apostle Paul. Studying Paul will give us a better understanding of letters such as Romans and Galatians, for he was the writer of these books. So, let's get started. Paul is first mentioned in Acts 7.58. At this time, he was known as Shaul. It says, Then they cast him out of the city and stoned him, that is, Stephen. And the witnesses laid down their garments at the feet of a young man named Shaul. Shaul, who would later on be known as Paul, was a member of the Diaspora Jews, a Pharisee a man of high status in the Jewish religion. He was a Torah scholar, a theologian, taught by one of the best, that is, the teacher Gamaliel. So Paul was no small fry in the Jewish community. He was taught by the best and became one of the best. Acts 22 verse 3, Paul says, I am verily a man which am a Jew, born in Tarsus, a city in Cilicia, yet brought up in this city at the feet of Gamaliel, and taught according to the perfect manner of the law of the fathers, and was zealous toward Elohim, as ye all are this day. Shaul was going from city to city searching for Jewish Christians or Jewish converts to the following of the way, a small sect that has begun growing at that time, that accepted Yahshua as Messiah. He was arresting and persecuting these people. He considered the movement known as the Way as a threat to the Jewish faith. Acts 8 verse 3 As for Shaul, he made havoc of the church assembly, entering into every house and hauling men and women, committed them to prison. One day, while on his way to Damascus, Shaul encountered, with a great light, the risen Messiah. Acts chapter 9 says, But Shaul, still breathing threats and murder against the disciples of the Master, that is Yeshua, went to the high priest and asked him for letters to the synagogues at Damascus, so that if he found any belonging to the way, men or women, he might bring them bound to Jerusalem. Now as he went on his way, he approached Damascus, and suddenly a light from heaven shone around him, and falling to the ground, he heard a voice saying to him, Shaul, Shaul, why are you persecuting me? And he, that is Shaul, said, Who are you, master? And Yeshua said, I am Yeshua whom you are persecuting. Shaul was blinded by this encounter and had to be led to Damascus to wait for more orders by Master Yeshua. Another disciple named Ananias was told by Master Yeshua to meet Shaul, heal his sight, baptize him, and bring him into the faith. It says in Acts 9 verse 17 to 20, so Ananias departed and entered the house, and laying his hands on him, he said, Brother Shaul, Master Yeshua, who appeared to you on the road by which you came, has sent me, so that you may regain your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. And immediately something like scales fell from his eyes, and he regained his sight. Then he rose and was baptized, and taking food, he was strengthened. For some days he was with the disciples at Damascus, and immediately he proclaimed Yeshua in the synagogues, saying, He is the Son of Elohim, that is, the Messiah. Shaul would at this point mostly be known by the name of Paul, as we see throughout all his writings in the New Testament. Paul became an apostle of Yeshua and is known as one of the most important writers of the New Testament and one of the most important figures in biblical history, a pillar to the faith in Yeshua the Messiah. He wrote 13 of the 27 New Testament books, including Galatians, 
Ephesians, and Romans, which are fundamental books within the New Testament. He traveled widely throughout the Eastern Roman Empire region, preaching the good news, most primarily to the Gentiles, about Yeshua as the Messiah and his return to establish the kingdom of Yah. But I also want to give out a warning about Paul. Paul is easily misrepresented and his writings can be confusing. Paul is a controversial figure even into today's assemblies, both by Messianic and Christian groups alike. Improper understanding of Paul can and has caused some people to think Paul was preaching against Torah, like the law of keeping Shabbat and eating kosher. One can easily misunderstand Paul and create a false doctrine from his writings. Even the Apostle Peter saw this danger. He says in 2 Peter 3.16, as he does in all his letters, that is, Paul, when he speaks in them of these matters, there are some things in them that are hard to understand, which the ignorant and unstable twist to their own destruction, as they do the other scriptures. To really study Paul and what he meant in his writings, we must see his writings from his perspective, that is, a first century Jewish Hebrew lens. He did not preach against the Torah, and he did not contradict his master's words, Yeshua. He is easily one of the most important people in the Bible, who was chosen by Master Yeshua to spread his gospel, good news. Paul was a great man, a Torah-observant Jew who accepted Yeshua as the Messiah that was spoken of in the Tanakh, that is, the Torah and Prophets, and was used by Master Yeshua to spread the good news to the Gentiles and write many books in the Brit Hadashah, the New Testament. Galatians 1.1 1, 1, Paul, an apostle, not from men nor through man, but through Yeshua, Messiah, and Elohim, the Father. Please share in the comment section below any other facts that you know about Paul that I missed. I'd love to hear them, and maybe we can learn more about Paul, and I'd love to just hear from you. So thank you, and shalom.